SSW. What's going on there, guys? Inferno here, coming at you. I'm gonna talk about June 27th, New Revolutions, and the SSW Heavyweight Championship Tournament that I set up. Right here is the contract. Right here is the contract that everybody will, comp will be competing for. Um, on June 27th, Carlisle PA at the YWCA. This is what it's all about, right here. No ifs, ands, or buts. You go on through the tournament, you win, you go on to the triple threat, you win the triple threat match, you get a shot at whoever the SSW Heavyweight Champion is at that time, anytime, any place, anywhere. June 27th, I wanna see all the great fans at SSW. Let's light them up, baby. Welcome fans to SSW Television. Outcast Butch S out here to defend his United States title. And it looks like Tuna's army has jumped Butch S here. We've got to get this, this match hasn't even started yet. And they're out here laying a beating on Butch Hess out here in the aisle. I don't know if we're going to be able to have a United States title match or not. You see Tuna out here with his thugs. Kevin Rousey has taken the title from Outcast Butch Hess. Now he is obviously not the champion. This match never had a chance to even get underway. Fans... This is one heck of a way to get started here. We think we're gonna have a title match. Oh, and now I'm joined by, by Mike Skills. Skills, what in the world is going on here? It's payhem, it's pandemonium, and I love it. I what love is, it. What is this? What is this? What it is, it's, it's Justin, street style. I love this. They, they just attacked him gangland fashion. I'm loving it. They're living the hero laying out there. D dang near bleeding to death. I'm enjoying it. I'm having the time of my life. Well, these fans paid to see a United States title match. And Outcast Butch Hess, it, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to have this match tonight. Look, Manitoba, if their hero's not tough enough to continue, it's not Rousey's fault. Hey, hey, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Butch Hess has decided he is going to defend his title. More. That's, that's a clear case of John Wayne syndrome. More guts than brains, Manitoba. That's exactly what it is. You know, I, I hate to say it. I, I hate to say it, but I, I'm going to have to agree with you in this case. Of course you have to agree with that. You can't argue with the facts. Look at that. Look at that. Rousey is a former collegiate champion. This man, this man is has style above anybody. This man is completely recognized. So much so, I was thinking about signing myself. Rousey's got that whole locked in there. Of course. Of course, he's on the ropes now. Do you have something to do with this? I'm just commenting. The referee told me to ring the bell. I rang the bell. I have nothing to do with any of it. He accepted the challenge. I love it, but I have nothing to do with it. No, sir. No, sir. I don't know what's going on with this Inferno. The referee told me to ring the bell. Butch Hess is defending that bell. Oh, look at this. Now, Rousey he is just okay, mocking See, Butch Hess. Butch should just lay down, say, you know, I've had a good career, and just call it quits. That's not the kind of man Butch Hess is, no, you know it. That's right, because doing that would be a smart thing to do. And Rousey, of course, taking full advantage. I, I know, don't see how the referee is not disqualified in that. Butch right now reminds me of a bucket of chicken. Two wings and only one leg. Well, he does have an injured leg, but look at that. He's fighting back. He's fighting back. He's catching Rousey. Yeah. Got him with another big club. Ah, oh, but Rousey with a forearm. And that Butch was a has, cheap shot. I hate guys that wrestle dirty. Butch has just clobbering him. Yeah, maybe Rousey isn't uh, the uh, world beater that he claims to be, huh? Oh, come on. It was a lucky shot, Manitoba. It was a lucky shot. Man, Butch has is not giving up easily. In fact, I don't think Butch has is going to give up at all. The man's already got an injured look, leg. He's going to attack three on one. But well, yet he's, he's still he's, out here. Look at that. That was a low blow. That was a spear. It was a definite spear. That but was a spear. The referee saw it. It was right in front of the referee. If that was a low blow, the SSW referees would have disqualified. Well, I always kind of wondered about the, these officials around here. They're always on my case, always on my guy's case. And look, a perfectly good forearm there. 
Uh, Quinn Rousey's got him on the ropes here. And why the referee isn't over here breaking that? All right, he is making the count. He has a five count, Manitoba. Uh, look a at five this. Count. Look at this. The referee's being distracted here while Tuna takes advantage and continues to work over the leg of Butch Hess. Hey, look. Jesse Draven is on the outside. He never once entered the ring. He never laid a hand on anyone. He didn't enter the ring, but he obviously is there to distract the official. And now Rousey's still working over that knee. No, sir. No, uh, sir. He's going for the... It looks like a figure... It is. A figure four. It is. It's a figure four. He's got him in the center of the ring. The referee's checking. I don't think Butch S is going to give. He's got to get know. to the ropes. He might pass out. He's in Could. a lot of pain. But Butch S is fighting back. He's trying to turn, and he does. He's almost got that turned over. Oh. Oh, and look at this. What is this, Skills? What is this? Tuna in the ring. I'm sorry. My monitor went out. He's I don't attacking see what you mean. Tuna came in the ring, attacked Butch S behind the referee's back. Really? Are you sure? I swear, I saw it. No. Come on, Skills. Tuna's a deacon of his church. He wouldn't do a thing like that. A deacon in his church. Of what course. church would that be? The, the Church of Tuna for Sushi, of course. <laughs> of course. All right, Butch S is still fighting. Oh! And Butch, the referee, it appears that Butch Hess has submitted. He has. Oh, this is a travesty. To be the champ, you have to be the champ. Kevin Rousey just got a submission. Fans, this is a travesty. Kevin Rousey, your new United States champion. Butch Hess, obviously oh, in pain. you got to love that. It was a three-on-one attack. He fought valiantly. He stuck in as long as he could. you got to But it became a matter that. of submit or, or possibly never walk again. Butch Hess has submitted. To his credit, I'm not sure if he tapped out or if he passed out. Well, now that is a good point. But regardless, the referee has stopped the match. Wait He's awarded the belt to Kevin Wait Rousey. Wait a minute. What do we have going on here? I don't, I, I, I don't like this. Inferno, I don't like this. He won fair and square. What's this? Inferno is getting Tuna and his crew out of there. See, Apparently, Kevin Rousey is your new United States champion. But he's, but he's trying to blame me. I was out here the whole time. I was sitting right beside you. You're my witness. Yeah, but I don't know what went on behind that curtain, Skills. Hey, what happens behind the curtain stays behind the curtain. Well, we should hope so. You gotta love that. Well, I gotta stand up and applaud that. It is official. Mike Demuzio has made the announcement. I don't see Butch Hess ever wrestling again. I wouldn't count Butch Hess out that quickly. I can tell you this. I've known this man for a long time. I've seen Butch Hess come up. Butch Hess trained at the House of Pain. Yes, he did. With John Rambo. Yes, he did. He's trained with the best. He's wrestled the best. And Butch Hess is one tough man. Oh. I can guarantee you, if there's any way possible, the Outcast will be back. And God help Kevin Rousey when Butch Hess is back. Kevin Rousey. Congratulations. You're a new SSW United States champion. Gotta give it to you. Sneak attack me. Have the rest of Tudor's army come at me. You go in, you make me tap. There's not a whole lot of people in this business have done this, so congratulations. But see, it's not about titles. It's about much more than that. See, I got family in this business. And tonight, what you did is you brought a family together. You guys up for a little uh, six-man tag war games action? Six-man, eight-man, ten-man, I don't care. They stepped in the wrong line. Like he said, Outcast, myself, Kid Mike, we've had our battles. But unfortunately, like he admitted, Tuna's army crossed the line. You're messing with a family member, you don't do that when we're, there, when we're around. Regardless of it, we have our odds. But you don't mess. When it's family, we're going to take you out. You step the lines, war game's happening. August 29th at the YWCA in Carlisle, PA. Kevin Rousey, I will kick your head off of your shoulders. And what other thing? I have a lot of friends in this business. But don't forget, I have some more family in this business too.
So you know what? August 29th, right here at the YWCA, Carlisle, PA, Kevin Rousey, Tuna for Sushi, bring your army, because we're going to war, punks. Superstar Wrestling, New Revolutions Tournament. You know, I, I watched the drawing online. Uh, I saw it happen live like a lot of you guys did. And uh, I got to see that first round, I'm wrestling Brian Hardy. Um, that's a big deal to me. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I talked to Corey Gebhardt, and I asked him if he had talked to Brian yet. Because mutual respect for the business, I thought that Brian would be excited. Um, Corey told me that Brian's only question is, who's Steve Sarks? You know, that, that hurts my core. Because I know who Brian Hardy is. I've seen him at MWF. I've seen him be the heavyweight champion there. I know he's at least a second generation superstar. I know his brother's in the business. Former heavyweight champion of SSW. I know what he's done. I've seen where he's been. I've watched him. It's not hard to know. But somehow he doesn't know about the two-time SSW Tag Team Champion, the one-time SWA Tag Team Champion, one-time CPW Tag Team Champion, two-time PWS Tag Team Champion, and after tonight, two-time PWS Heavyweight Champion. Brian Hardy, all the respect in the world for you, my friend, but come June 27th, you're not gonna have to worry about who I am anymore. All you're gonna have to worry is how I beat you. This match is going to be a winner contest for the number one contender spot. Introducing first, Billy from SSW number one contenders tournament getting underway. Absolutely. And our first competitor, it's Brian Hardy. Brian Hardy marches into a uh, different drummer beat than I do. He, he's one of these guys, obnoxious guys that insist on playing by the rules. That loves the fans. They get just want to slap. But he's tougher than a two dollar steak. He does all that fly flying around the ring and the guy can wrestle. I can't take that away from him. The guy can actually wrestle. Brian Hardy is a veteran. He's been oh, everywhere. And I got to give him points for getting that leather jacket from Adrian Adonis collection. I must give him credit for the Ramones t-shirt. One of the greatest rock and roll bands to ever walk the planet. Well, you say Ramones, I say Zeppelin, but now, I, don't know. I don't know about you. Gravitational pull. Gra Stay gravitational pull. In the back, everybody's bags is by him. He has his own gravitational pull by himself. But this guy, I've never seen anybody do a full smash like Steve Stark at this size. The guy can jump around like a lightweight. It's incredible. Steve Stark's, of course, another longtime veteran. He's been around. Both of these guys have been up and down the East Coast. Yeah, I know titles. Brian this Hardy. Brian Hardy looks like a young guy. But like you say, he's been around a long time. And I like. I said about how he's obnoxiously good to the fans. I like we're seeing a meanness from him. We're seeing a cockiness. I haven't seen this. I like this. Well, it could be that Brian Hardy's got a new attitude. And before Turner Q, and before. Before Inferno accuses me, I had nothing to do with that either. <laughs> All right, nothing to do with Brian Hardy's new attitude. 
see? This is smart. I would advise my guys to do this. He's picking his shots. He's taking his time. There's no rule that says he has to go in right there immediately. Not until the referee signals for the bell. Yeah, but it can't ring until both combatants are in the ring. Is, is that right? That is true. Well, the referee can make a decision here. It's like Steve Sarks is trying to hold the ropes open for Brian Hardy because Brian Hardy doesn't uh, doesn't really want to fall for that just yet. See, Brian, Brian Hardy's no fool. Like you say, been around a while. You don't do that by becoming a, becoming a moron. not making any friends here tonight. No, but you don't get titles and number one contingentships by being everybody's friend. That's true. Brian Hardy does, as you said, seem to have a new attitude. Maybe we're going to see a little more intensity from him tonight. And honestly, I think he's got to be one of the favorites to win this tournament. Oh, he's got to be. He's got to be. But look, look, to show I'll give the devil's due, Steve Sarks is certainly no slouch. Oh, no, no. And taking Steve Sarks lightly would be one huge mistake for Mr. Hardy. This crowd in Carlisle never ceases to disappoint me. Some such disappointment. Well, let's see Brian Hardy looking for some approval from the fans, and he is not getting any here from the crowd in Carlisle. Carlisle, Pennsylvania, and not the end of the world, but I swear I can see it from here. A little different reaction for Steve Sparks. No, they weren't cheering him. They were pulling the ropes all up. Contender this way, but it's a little psychology. Absolutely, picking spots, picking shots. All right, here we go. This is going to be, like we said, the first match in this tournament to determine determine the number one contender. But in truth, mouthing off to the champion over there, Corey Corey Inferno Gephardt. It's, it's not uh, exactly what you want to do. You what? don't want to take your, your eyes off your opponent. No, but why not go ahead and get him for those mine a little bit? Well, that's a good point as well. But now see, Brian Hardy, the veteran that he is, what he's doing here, he's trying to psych out Steve Sarks. He's trying to get any kind of advantage that he can. Well, it starts into a false sense of security, maybe. There's Hardy with a headlock. It could be. I just hope. I just hope because Sarks, Sarks is no fool. I just hope he doesn't try and capitalize on capitalize on something like right there. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's not going to See, I hope he doesn't get too emotional here. I don't, I don't think you have to worry about that. I think this could be a plus. See that? I think it was a ploy. Uh, I can't believe Steve Sarks actually fell for that. He was going to the club. Brian Hardy really wanted to shake hands. Hardy uh, again going back to that headlock. Well, he's a good guy. I shook hands with him many times myself. Uh, and that, and you see that? Hardy did take him down with a lock, but turn around. That was a blatant cheap shot on Steve Sarks' part. And you know, I didn't see a cheap shot, but you might want to check Brian Hardy's trunks. There might be some skid marks after that one. Oh, I can't believe you would say such a dirty thing. But, see, uh-oh. Uh, that's a mistake. That's a mistake. Brian you don't put your hands on the official. You certainly don't. He's going to end up getting disqualified, and Sarks will advance easily. Not just that. That super had no right in hitting, hitting Brian Hardy. He's a... He's a quiet guy, opposed by the rules, and, and what is the ref doing to subs him for no apparent reason? He attacks Brian Hardy. Well, again, I think we're seeing this a little differently. Are you sure you're watching the same match that I'm watching tonight? Manitoba, you put two, two, two eye contacts in one eye. Well, regardless, oh, oh, oh see, Steve Sarks was repairing on that one. Again, you know, Hardy, it looked like he was trying to psych out Sarks, but it's kind of backfired. I 
think he's losing his cool. Unfortunately, I was afraid of this. Look, good, good grab of the tights there by Stark. Oh, that was nothing but a body slam right there. Yeah, with the help of the tight foot. Brian Hardy's going to step out. It looks like he's going to try and slow things down here. Now, being a manager, this is the part where I would advise my guy. I would be out there, and I would tell him to just pace himself and slow down and make, make Sars try to wrestle his match. Because clearly, the cardio advantage has got to be given to uh, uh, the much smaller Brian Hardy. Oh, absolutely. Here we go. They're outside the ring. The referee's got the count up to six. Steve Sark's back in to break the count and going right back out after Brian Hardy. I hope he doesn't doesn't turn the Wayne Ferris here. This could get bad. It very well could. We could have another Tupelo concession stand brawl. We could. Right oh, now, oh, oh, look at this. Steve Sarks is playing a little tune with Brian Hardy's head on that guitar. See, that, that's illegal. Why don't the ref stop in? I, you know, I do have to agree with you again on that one. Of course like, you do. I have to true. agree. That's a true word, intelligent man. Sark sending Brian Hardy's head into the apron again, going in to break the count. Hey, like he just said, it is effective. Of course it's effective. It's so effective. Oh, my. Oh, Clayton cheating again. Steve Sarks just told Brian Hardy to have a seat with his face right into that chair. And now Sarks is uh, having a little conversation with the fans. But again, he doesn't want to get too cocky here. And uh, what happens? You mess around, you mess around. One day, you won't be around. And that's what Steve Sarks is feeling right there. Again, he, he kind of took his eye off the ball. And now Brian Hardy, the veteran that he is, Taking full advantage of that. See, laying in a stiff kick there. I'm not just. sure if Steve Sarks was in control. Oh, I thought. Oh, that. wow. I think Brian Hartley led him into a false sense of security. I think you could be right. Steve Sarks might be needing a trip to the dentist after that. Oh, I think he would. I think he took out a bipolar, a bi a bipolar a couple wisdom teeth. Or you could be right. Hardy taking over here. He's going to back Sarks up into the ropes. And oh! Holy and ladies and gentlemen, Steve Sarks is just... The top rope is broken here. Brian Hardy threw him in with such force that it actually broke the top rope. Inferno, Corey Gephardt, over here checking on Steve Sarks. Uh, oh, my God. We need to get do the doctor in here. Dr. Brophy checking on him. Oh, my God. Oh, man, Steve Sarks is not getting up. I've, I've never seen nothing like that. I haven't either. In my 20 years as a manager and announcer, I have never seen anything like that go on. Brian Hardy, of course, in the ring. We've got officials. We've got the doctor over here checking on Steve Sarks. That, this could be bad. I can't tell. Uh, he is back up. Steve Sarks is back up. He is back in the he's ring. Not, he's, he's not a small man to be taking a spill like that. He definitely is not. What? He, Apparently doesn't have his faculties about him yet, but he was able to get back in. This number one contendership is so important to him. But look at this. He avoids the super kick. Oh, and it's a TKO from Steve Sark. Guaranteed a cut through like a skill saw. And there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Sarks after that nasty spill. That son of an unnamed kill. Manages to win that match and defeat Brian Hardy. Steve Sarks will be moving on to the second round of this tournament. He's as tough as he is ugly. I don't know how in God's name he did that. That will be a hospital impressive. right now. He should be sharing a room with Brooks House. How in God's name he did that is beyond me. That was impressive. Quite a feat. I got I gotta go because one of one of my three guys is coming out next because Steve Sarks may very well be in the finals against us, so I gotta prepare my guy. All right, Mike Skills, you do that. And meanwhile, we're gonna take a little break here while we get the ring back together. Fans, we are off to one heck of a rousing start here tonight. We've 
already seen a title change. We've had the ring break on us. What's going to happen next? Stay tuned to SSW TV and find out.